What's up everyone, it's Jake here and welcome back to Almost Vintage Style. And uh, today we are talking about chinos because while well, spring is kind of starting to get here and some people have declared that it's already here, I actually don't really know what decides whether spring is here. I heard it's the groundhog in the shadow, but I don't really think that's very true. Um, but anyway, something that is a very spring and summer kind of item is chinos. And I love chinos. And the biggest reason I want to talk about this is, well, first of all, I've already filmed this video more than once a few months back, and I just wasn't happy with it. Um, but I'm doing it again because it's a subject I really care about because... And the reason why I'm looking around here is because I want to make sure nobody hears me when I say this, because even though I love denim, I like chinos more. So that's kind of a controversial statement to some people, but if I had to choose between even my best, most faded jeans, or any pair of jeans, really, uh, or a pair of tan chinos, I'd pick a pair of tan chinos. Well, and, and not just any tan chinos, basically the... World War II, like the military tan chinos, um, you know, something like this, or the pair I'm wearing, which is actually the same pair, just a different color. So, I, I do love the vintage ones. I have not found a pair in my size yet. I've handled a few pairs. I've seen people wearing them in person and stuff like that. I picked some up at vintage events, hoping they were my size, and they're not. So, the best thing I have found, at least in my opinion, as an alternative, is the Buzz Rickson chinos. The Buzz Rickson military chinos and specifically the 1942 model chino. That's the model that I wear. And I actually have three pairs of these. So I have this pair, which is, I believe, the khaki color. The This is the tan pair, which hopefully if you kind of look closely, you can kind of see there is actually a fairly significant difference in terms of the shades of these. Uh, hopefully you can kind of see here that you know i got them on and then i also have really really cool this is the william gibson version the inked out black version of the also 1942 cut and this one's basically a slightly different but other than the color it's almost entirely the same i absolutely love these if i had to pick one pair of trousers of any kind it would be these. I absolutely adore these things. Um, so I want to explain why. So first of all, and the biggest reason why is the cut. And I should be putting, you know, a picture or two on the screen to show you kind of how I look in these and how they wear and everything like that because I just think they look absolutely incredible. Um, so they have a fairly high rise and they have a fairly generous seat and hip area and thigh and all of that. And they don't really taper all that much, and they have a relatively wide hem. And because I'm not all that tall, these were hemmed to around 27 originally, but they shrunk further, so they're like 26.75, something like that. And then these and the black ones are at like 28-ish. And um, so they're at about like a 10-ish inch hem, which is pretty much spot on for me. I like a, I think 10 to 10 and a half is like, the sweet spot for me, honestly, maybe 11 even. Um, and then all the way down to nine for jeans, I guess I would say. Uh, if you don't hem them, they're at more like a nine and a half, I wanna say. But yeah, they are a very traditional, wide cut, but not anything baggy. And that's what I love about them. They flatter my body, my physique, and my style extremely well. You know, tuck a nice kind of vintage style shirt into them with a nice little fancy belt and fedora and you're good to go. Like it's, and I can wear it with I, with a t-shirt or with chambray shirts or flannels or leather jackets with my wool jackets, basically anything. I wear these with everything that isn't black. And if I wanna wear the chinos with something black, I got the black ones, easy. Uh, another thing I really like about them is they're very affordable. Uh, that's one of the things I love about the Buzz Rickson's chinos is that you know buzz rickson's doesn't charge a huge amount um so when i got mine these were like this first pair i got i got, I got i've gotten all my from hanoia these were like 90 bucks or something 
these were like a hundred and then I got those the black ones for like 110 or so uh, you know it's gone up now they, they started charging a little bit more so now I think they're like 135 ish and maybe the black ones are close to like 140 150 something like that you know with things going up now in price that's not completely unreasonable considering that you will buy you know stuff that's made overseas and possibly in sweatshops for you know a hundred dollars you know, eighty to a hundred dollars. There's other repros that are made in questionable places for eighty, and then there's other stuff that you can get that's you know you can get from high like more expensive brands that are made in you know less than desirable places for well over a hundred dollars. So these being made in Japan um, with Japanese fabric, hundred percent cotton, very accurate in terms of the details. I mean, I've handled actual World War II chinos and or you know the military chinos from the 40s and these feel pretty darn close i would say i don't think the fabric is exactly the same but it's it's very good okay it's to me i mean maybe it's because i've broken mine in so much it feels slightly less crisp but you know otherwise it feels really darn close and the details are all there so another thing i like about chinos okay higher rise much more flattering, much more comfortable for me. These are so incredibly comfortable, so easy to wear. More comfortable than almost any pair of jeans I've ever owned. And um, uh, I love the chino pockets. That's something I just like. And again, this is not unique to just this pair, right? I, it's about chinos in general. I, I, but so many people complain about denim pockets being too small and being uncomfortable and being difficult to use. And that's true, I hate it. I don't like that. I like to be able to put my hands in my pockets and you know, the chino pockets, just in general, it's not specific to these, but chino pockets are just better. They're so much easier. They're more comfortable. They, they're lower down, so you can kind of, if you have a nice shorter jacket that isn't crazy short, you can stick your pocket, hands in your pockets and still have your jacket not be like hitting your arm, you know what I mean? With jeans, if you have to kind of put them more directly down and they're higher up, sometimes it doesn't really go in there comfortably with your jacket kind of going down, right? With this, pretty much all my jackets, I can just still tuck my, you know, put my hands in my pockets really easily. And that's just, I don't know, I just like being able to do that. It's nice, it's comfortable. And if I need to actually put stuff in the pockets too. Um, I also like the jetted rear pockets. And again, not unique to these, but I just like that. I think I don't, you know, without the patch pockets, it's slightly more formal. You know, not that these are super formal, but it's a little more formal and I kind of prefer that look to, you know, uh, patch pockets. And, you know, there's another thing that I really like about chinos is they're more versatile than jeans. Like you can dress these up a lot easier and you can still dress them down really easily. I mean, you can wear them with sneakers, you can wear them with boots and a t-shirt and a leather jacket and they're still super casual. It, and you can put like a baseball cap on instead of a fedora or just style your hair or whatever it is you do. To me, they're more versatile. Jeans are always going to just be more casual. and I'm sorry, I am not one of those people that thinks that jeans look good with a sport coat. I hate that look. I despise that look. It's very 90s, and as somebody who was born in the 90s, I don't have 90s style nostalgia. 90s music nostalgia, yeah, but 90s style nostalgia, absolutely not. 90s style was awful. I don't understand anybody who likes it. Sorry, I might have pissed off a lot of people there, but I think 90s style was really awful. So, um, trust me, I lived through it. So. Um, yeah, I, and I love that about chinos. So these are, are good. The the construction has been fine. I've had three pairs. I've had these for multiple years. I have not had any issues at all. You know, you can start to see the fabric kind of getting a little bit fuzzy here, but I mean, it's not like it's falling apart. And I've had these for multiple years and worn these a ton. They're very nicely broken in. Um, and they're light and they're versatile and they're great for summer because again, they're very lightweight. I think it's about nine, eight to nine-ish ounce fabric. So, you know, very easy to wear in the summer. Not the most breathable, but it certainly doesn't feel restrictive and the looser cut also helps with that. So they're excellent for that. You know, you can get something like wool for the winter and then something like this for the summer and the spring and the fall, right? Because if you wear a jacket over this, then you can wear these when it's colder out too. Um, so yeah, I just think the biggest reason I like them though is because they fit me extremely well. And you know, this specific pair might not be the best fit for you. Now, Buzz Rickson's does have other options in terms of the fits. And the reason why I talk about them so much is because the price is great and the quality is very, very good. And Buzz is very 
dedicated to reproing things as accurately as possible, even more so than some other brands. Some other brands will kind of make things a little nicer. Like Free Wheelers and Real McCoys will sometimes take a little bit of liberties to make something a bit fancier and nicer, where Buzz will try to repro it as accurately as possible, which sometimes can be a good thing. Sometimes that can be a bad thing, depending on your perspective. Um, and But usually their stuff's a little bit less expensive. So like their N1 deck jackets are usually closer to the originals in that the the alpaca lining, wool alpaca lining is a little bit shorter, but therefore it's itchier. Whereas like McCoy's will make it a little bit more plush and then Freewheelers is even more plush on top of that and plus they put the extra flannel liner sandwiched in between the outer layer shell and the inner alpaca lining so it's even warmer. But that's not actually accurate. So, you know, it depends on what you're after. For the chinos, you know, you want something nice and simple, you know, thin belt loops, simple fabric that's not taking away from the rest of the outfit, simple darter pockets, slash pockets in the front, you know, coin pocket here. Again, all of it's very subtle and it's really just about the silhouette and the fit and the silhouette and the fit is utterly fantastic. So getting these for a relatively low price, like in the low, under $150 for made in Japan, that's really good, honestly, um, especially considering how expensive some other stuff is. And you're going to be paying from a lot of other brands. If you want chinos or just trousers, you want a slightly nicer fabric, you're paying 300, 400, sometimes almost $500 from certain brands, which, I mean, I'm not saying some of those things might not be worth it, but for me, it's like, I just can't see myself going that route when I have stuff like this available, especially because they do have different choices in terms of cut. So the 1942 cut is my favorite. It's the widest one they have. They also have the 1945 cut, which is a little bit slower rise and I think slightly, slightly slimmer, but Nears makes no difference. It's very similar to the 1942 cut. And then they also have the original Spec Chino, which that one is a little bit slimmer. It's not like a slim cut. It's just more of like, I guess, what you would call a modern straight or a modern slim straight, I guess. Um, I don't prefer that cut. Obviously, I much prefer, you know, the more the most traditional cut you can possibly get. That's the one I like. Um, and then you also have the William Gibson one, which is super cool. These are black, but when I say black, they are super black. This is the blackest piece of clothing I've ever owned. It is like, I don't even know if it shows up perfectly, but these are insanely dark and I've already washed these twice and they have not faded at all. The only reason why they look even slightly, you know, less than void black or what's the, what's that like thing they're painting cars now with that like super ultra mega black color that like just looks like it's disappeared. Um, the only reason why it doesn't look like that is because it's got like fuzzes on it and stuff like that. Cause you know, what's going to happen with things like this, but they are, it's a beautiful kind of shiny, dark, dark black. And I wear that with a lot of other stuff too. You know, my black leather jacks, if you want an all black look, these fit better than any pair of black jeans I've ever tried to get. So I just kind of use these as my black jeans if I want to do an all black, like black leather jacket, black shirt, black, you know, jeans. I just wear these instead because I like the way they fit. And, um, you know, or I wear some of like, my, I wear my, uh, there's a plaid red and black and gray uh, wool Montgomery Ward jacket that I have from the late 30s or early 40s and that looks killer with these so Yeah, they kind of have everything covered and the other thing that's interesting is the colors So at least with the 1942 chinos, these are the two colors So you have the khaki and you have the tan I prefer the tan if I had to pick one because it's a bit warmer. It's a little bit darker It's not super dark, but it's like a nice light traditional tan The khaki is a bit colder as you can probably tell. I still like it, like it's it's different. It's worth having both. It's, I just, it looks a little bit more like school uniform color to me. Um, so I don't like it quite as much, but I do still wear these as well. If you go for the 1945 version, it's, I believe it's this tan color and then like a darker color. It's like kind of a, I think it's camel and it's much more brown. It's still like a lighter brown, but it's it's like between this and like a duck canvas kind of color in my opinion. So it's definitely darker and you might want that too. It's, it's a nice color. I've been looking at getting that in the future as well because I love these so much. Another thing is that um, they do dark, they do, sorry, they shrink. So they shrink about an inch in the waist when you wash them in about, I think about two and a half inches in the length. 
Um, so if you're going to hem them, which I would absolutely recommend that you do, you're gonna wanna wash them first before you hem them. And I wash them like on super, super hot, spin cycle them and everything so I make sure I get all the shrink out. Because with this pair, I like kind of like hot soap them first and then I hem them and then I like wash them a few more times and they shrunk a little bit more. So be careful with that. So yeah, um, so they do shrink. I mean, that's authentic. It could be annoying for you. It's not really a big deal for me. Now, that could be a downside for you. What I definitely think is a downside is, for some people at least, is the fabric. If you're wanting, if you're a fabric guy and you want like a super interesting fabric, you're not getting that with these at all. They're very simple, they're very straightforward. It's a very even weave. Um, it's a very, very simple even twill weave. And a downside for a lot of people is they do start up very shiny. All of them do. This pair obviously is the least shiny now, but you might be able to tell that the black pair is still pretty darn shiny, honestly. And even this pair that I'm wearing here, the tan pair, is still a bit shiny, even after being washed a few times and being worn quite a lot. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool, but I could absolutely see people really not liking that. So I get it. Um, some people also might not like how wide these are. I love it. I don't even think they look very wide on me, but that's because, you know, I don't skip leg day. And that's just also kind of how my body is in general too. And so, um, you know, they look like a pretty standard straight fit on me. And that's probably why I love them so much. So for some people it might be too much, depending on like kind of how your body is, right? Um, I'd say they fit relatively true to size. I have a 31 in both of the kind of brown or tan pairs. And they're a little loose on me now because I have about a 30, 30 and a half inch waist. Um, because even once they shrink, they kind of shrink down to like a 32, maybe 31 and a half inch waist. So if I got another pair, I probably would size down one more. The black pair, you need to size up one compared to the other pairs. So this one is a 32 and it does fit pretty much exactly the same as these two. And these two brown ones or tan ones are 31s and they fit the same as this 32. So do keep that in mind, okay? If you wanna try these on in person, like in LA or in the United States, Self Edge does carry these. They're obviously gonna be more expensive than they will be from Hanoia. And there's other places like in Europe and England that carry them. I think the Son of a Stag carries them in some other places. I can't remember exactly where they're. They're pretty popular. Um, and Buzz Rickson's has a lot of distributors. So there's a lot of places where you can get them and try them on if you want. There's also other alternatives like the Bryce Lens Chino is kind of similar to this. It's not quite as wide, so that's why I prefer these. But you know, there's definitely other options out there. And uh, they won't, maybe some of them won't be as shiny as these. These are very shiny. It is a very simple fabric. There's no crazy details. You know, there's no fun rivets or like anything crazy like what Samurai does. Uh, the kind of the craziest, most interesting detail, and it's it's authentic, is the metal buttons on all of them. All of them have these kind of cool metal buttons, which I absolutely love. I just think that's kind of cool. It's like the one, you know, slightly out there detail, um, but that's not even out there because that's how they came. Um, but like everything else is just like bar tacks. There's no rivets and hidden rivets or anything like that. It's all very simple and straightforward, but that's kind of the beauty of them is they're a great fit and you put you can put like a plaid shirt on top of it and then you know everything else is kind of the flair to the outfit i guess that's the way i kind of look at it but i love them i haven't had any issues with them uh with the construction quality or the fabric or anything and i've worn most of, i've worn all of them for quite a while i've had all three pairs for over a year and i've had the this khaki pair for probably like three or four. Oh, another thing you need to hem these they look terrible cuffed and i used to cuff them um, but the fabric is very like stiff and shiny and it's kind of crinkly. You really want to wear these a lot and, and wash them a good amount before they start softening up. And even then they're still going to be a little bit kind of stiff looking. Again, that's kind of another downside for some people. It might be, again, I don't hate it, but I will admit it doesn't look the best when they're cuffed. They look, they'll, they'll be like really pointy and odd looking when they're cuffed. I'll show you. I mean, I'll have a picture. You can see. It looks terrible. So yeah, I would not recommend that. I wouldn't, I would recommend that you get them hemmed, but you need to make sure they're fully shrunken before you hem them. So that's kind of the little catch there. So again, they're not perfect, uh, but I love them. You know, they, they work 
extremely well for me. They're exactly what I want, and they're my favorite pair of trousers. Um, if I could buy, you know, if I could only have one pair of trousers, it would be these, all right? Um, or, and if I could have only one pair of trousers in every color, I would have these. If I could get these in like a denim, I would do that. And actually, I kind of do have that now. That's why I have my Woods Mountain military denim trousers that I have now. They're very similar to these in terms of cut, but they're denim. So, yeah, that's what I was looking for. So, anyway, yeah, I love these. I'm a big fan. I will have a link in the description for these. Funnily enough, um, when I join like the affiliate program that I'm in now, which I don't really use very often, just obviously so you all know, um, being fully transparent, um, it turns out they actually have an affiliate with Hanoia. So um, I'm going to put the link there and you can use it or you don't have to. I've even given you alternatives. I'm not saying you have to use these. And as I've already told you, they're not perfect, right? There's a lot of reasons why you might not want these. Um, but I just think, you know, giving chinos a shot is a good idea. I think they're a great alternative to denim. And, you know, denim jackets look much better with a pair of chinos than they do with another pair of jeans, in my opinion. <laughs> but I just think it looks great. Um, so, yeah, I will put that link there to the Hanoi one. But like I said, there's other places where you can try them on. If you want to buy them more locally, I totally understand that. And the thing is, Hanoi has sold out a lot with them. But... I did make this video well before I even had joined the affiliate program and well before I even knew this was a thing that I could actually, you know, give you a link for this. Um, but the video just wasn't very good and I wasn't happy with it. I just kind of tried to get into all the details about them and then I realized, you know, the details really aren't the most important thing with these. It's, I just care about them because of the cut, honestly. And because I like slash pockets and they're a good price. You know, that's kind of it. So yeah, that's why I remade the video, honestly. And then I realized I could do this and I even debated whether or not I should include this link, but I'm going to. So yeah, you can use it, you don't have to. There's other things that you can try out and maybe I'll even include those links that will not be affiliate links. But hey, whatever, I'm just being very transparent. That's how I do things and you know, other people don't do that and that's their choice. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm definitely, I'm gonna do the next couple of videos. I'm gonna do a video on straight fit jeans and how it doesn't always mean what you think it means because I have quite a few straight fit jeans that aren't actually straight fit. So I'm, that's probably gonna be the very next video I do. I really wanna talk about that. I did an Instagram reel on that that people really liked and got a lot of information out of. So I think that'd be a good video. And because it's warming up finally, the big t-shirt video is coming. I'm gonna do that very soon because I will have the time. I'll be on spring break soon. So I will be doing that soon. I don't know if those are the next two videos that I'm going to release. Hopefully they are. Um, but those are definitely going to be coming out very soon. The two that I want to do the most are the ones that I'm the most excited about. So um, look forward to those. That t-shirt video is probably going to be like an hour long or I'll have to split it up into two parts because, um, you know, a lot of people have made t-shirt videos. I have worn more t-shirts than any of the people that have made those t-shirt videos. Um, and I own more t-shirts than any of those people who have made those t-shirt videos before. Not saying my video will be better, but I have more t-shirt experience than they do. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. It's going to be fun. So anyway, thank you all for the last time. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.